Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. But I keep acting really crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. I ain't that the truth. <sighs> I ain't that the truth. What are you doing with them knives, my friend? Poisoning the tips. Why? Makes for a quicker kill. And you could take down a bear with one of these. You hit it in the right spot? Interesting. Get me some oleander. I'll show you how to make some. Pretty easy. Thanks, Javier. Claro. Here, I picked up some oleander. Is this enough? Yeah, should be plenty. I'll get working on some more knives later. Easy there now, Javier. Arthur. So, How are you? I found you a pipe. <laughs> well, will you look at that? You want these? I stole them anyway. Sure, why not? Not good. I won't lie. Oh, I know the feeling. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. All right. <sighs> I'm sweating now. You want to sit, Morgan? Hey. Planning the next big score, are you? Always. Never told you this, but have a seat and a swig, Arthur. Everyone's favorite uncle. You can make a fella real happy. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. Save some for the rest of us. You betcha. <laughs> 
smells delightful, Mr. Pearson. Do you want it cooked right or not? Morning, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? How was it looking around Blackwater when you got Sean? Not good. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. You know, Arthur... It's the illness of romantics. What is? Hope. Hope is. Hello, sir. Morning, Ted. Hi. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? Pearson? Hey. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Our own cook. That's fine living. I should do some work. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm... Well, I'm very grateful. Don't mention it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself. We've all done it. I just, I just, I get so confused and, and angry, and then I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier, and, well, I'm a real prized dolt. I know it. Morning, Arthur. Hey there. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. I'm glad. All right, Arthur. You lot ain't Why don't no you sit down fun. instead of flitting about? Looking good, Bill. Don't work too hard. I work smart. Oh, you do, do you? All right. When are we hunting another bear? Ah. <laughs> Maybe not for a while. <laughs> Might be for the best. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Arthur.
You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. My lady. Morning, Arthur. Working hard there? I guess. Well, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. Do they see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Hello. Morning, Arthur. How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. All right, Arthur. How are you? Hey, Pearson. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. I mean that. Sure, Arthur. How are you, Jose? Hello. All good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Good. I'm glad. All right. Well, I should be getting on. Sure. You ever wonder what goes on on the moon? No, not too often. You think there's folks up there looking down on us right now, saying... I wonder what goes on on that earth. <laughs> I never thought about it. One day I'd like to go there. You planning on sprouting wings and flying? Oh, Tilly, you're just so sensible. That's me, little Miss Sensible. There she is. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. Well, I'm sure you have it under control. We'll see you later. Karen. Arthur. Everything okay? I guess. Bored. Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. Okay, then. Hello. Morning. What you got going on? Nothing much. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur.
What are you doing? You're a waste of space. You got such a chip on your shoulder, don't you? <laughs> you gonna get out there and make some money? What's your problem with me? Why didn't I just leave you in that jail cell? I'm done with this now. You're rattling the wrong cage. You joining me here? A vision has always mystery in Shaw. I need to stretch my legs. Jose, how are you? Might as well rest while you can. You're looking good? Thank you. Good to see. All right, then. I've been working. Do some work, dearie. This isn't a holiday camp. <laughs> 